Okay, the occipital lobe. As the name suggests, it is got to, it. Oh gosh, that was really bad English. It has to do with our um, eyesight. Now, the occipital lobe, in a bit of a funny twist, is actually located at the back of our brain. So right away from where you would think it would be, which is right next to the eyes. Um, it selects, organizes, and integrates visual information, and it works with the other lobes in order to be able to do this. Right at the very back of the occipital lobe is where we find the primary visual cortex, which is where the visual information um, goes to first. Now, the primary visual co cortex processes information from the sensory receptors on the retina, so it's processing visual information. Now, unlike the rest of the brain and the body, we, the left eye does not transmit information to the right hemisphere. Rather, the left half of each eye sends information to the left hemisphere, and the right side of each eye transmits information to the right side of each hemisphere. So, and some neurons will own, um, we have also contain the primary visual cortex uh, feature detector cells which respond only to certain features of a stimuli. So, for example, if you're looking at um, a moving dot, only s certain neurons will fire and get very excited when they see a moving dot or a line, a moving line moving horizontally. Other neurons will get particularly excited. And this becomes more important a little bit later in the unit when we're talking about um, uh, change blindness, um, motion, I'm sorry, after image effect and um, motion, oh, I've lost my language, I'm sorry, let's move on. Um, now, before I was talking about um, where the visual information is coming from, now this is really, really important, you need to take this picture, either photocopy it or Burn it into your retina somehow because you need to know this. And if you can get this down pat, it's really good. Now, rather than um, what you'll notice is that information in the left visual field, so information that's here, the pencil, the two parts of the eye which are seeing this are actually the right side of both of the eyeballs. And you see them here highlighted in red. Now, that information is transmitted to the right side of the brain, so the right primary visual um, cortex. Um, the reverse is true for the right visual field. If you're looking at the right visual field, the, that information actually hits the left side of both of the retinas and then, the, then is translated, transmitted to the left visual area, the visual cortex of the brain. What this means is that if you were to lose one eye, so let's just say for example that you were to lose your vision in your right eye you would still be able to see your left visual field and your right visual field because your left eye can still see the blue and can still see the red. Um, and therefore, both hemispheres of your brain are getting the information. This becomes really important when we look at split brain studies, um, which is where the corpus callosum is being severed and the information can't get transmitted. So please take the time to um, really understand this diagram. Right, temporal lobe, again, I've gone too far. That's what we're going to be looking at next. So if you want to skip ahead, you may. Ciao.